Back to our developing story on Hurricane Milton. The Category 3 storm has made landfall in the U.S. state of Florida, and social media users have been posting footage of the conditions that they're experiencing now. Authorities warn Milton could be one of the most destructive hurricanes on record. The storm lashing Florida is packing sustained winds of almost 200 kilometers per hour and is expected to plow through the state over the next 24 to 48 hours. Tornado. Tornado. I told you guys. The danger for Milton was felt even before it made landfall. More than a dozen tornadoes touched down in Florida, leaving a trail of destruction in some areas, damaging homes and structures. Come right here, you can... And storm surges in affected areas have reached some four meters. And authorities say that they expect similar surges along the East Coast as the hurricane progresses along its path. Millions had fled the state before Milton's landfall, but officials warn it is now too late and unsafe to evacuate. And Dr. Benjamin Jaimez de la Cruz, who's associate scientist at University of Miami's Rose and Steel School of Marine, Atmospheric and Earth Science, joins us right now from Miami. Dr. de la Cruz, you are actually on the other side of Florida completely from where Milton just landed. Can you give us a sense of what's happening on the east coast of the state? We understand there might be storm surges and what's happening outside of the hurricane's direct path. Well, you know, most of the state was concerned um, by this hurricane. Even here in Miami, we started preparations a couple of days before because, you know, the storm might change uh, the trajectory at the last minute. But in general, the state was well prepared, you know, based on previous experience and following the instructions of the authorities, the people was taking due precautions for this uh, dangerous hurricane. So you're pleased with what the state's been doing to address, you know, the incoming hurricane. But with Milton landing as a Cat 3, what aspect of its landfall met your expectations? And what does this say about its trajectory now? Well, um, definitely the National Hurricane Center uh, did a great job in forecasting the trajectory and the intensity for this uh, storm. And we also know that the damage is going to extend to the interior of the state. And uh, the authorities were well prepared evacuating the people and also sending emergency uh, personnel ahead of the storm uh, to a specific location just to be ready one day. Once the storm move away from the areas, they are ready to start helping people. So Florida has a long story of uh, being affected by these systems, and we are very well prepared for that case, and everything is working as expected. Talk to us about the experience when in the eye of the storm here in, in Singapore, we were reading that it's said to be extremely still and extremely calm even. How is this misunderstood even by the most hurricane hardy Floridians? Well, yes, it's, uh, you know, the, the center of the storm can be very quiet. However, the surrounding, the wall of the hurricane is the most destructive part. So even if uh, people affected directly by the eye might think that they are already safe, you always need to be careful because you know that the wall can come in any moment. So you need to actually wait for the authorities to tell you that you are safe to, to, to go outside, right? When we fly into the hurricanes, we know that the most extreme uh, turbulence occurs actually in the eye wall of the storm. Yeah, well, Dr. De La Cruz, we know that you zoom in a lot in uh, sea temperatures with your work, not just surface temperatures. How key was this in the might of Milton? Yes, uh, the interior temperature plays a significant role in uh, the rapid intensification, not only of hurricanes, but also in typhoons in, in, in your area. So it's an area of um, significant research. And we always try to identify those areas where the heat extends to deep waters in the ocean, because we know that those areas are the ones that promote these rapid intensifications that are often problematic to have the 
right intensity in the numerical forecast models. And also these are the areas where uh, typhoons or hurricanes often become uh, extreme events. So investigating these areas is critical to really be um, to improve the forecasting that eventually helps to uh, plan uh, ev evacuations of uh, the exposed areas. So we do a lot of research from satellites flying directly into the hurricanes and also deploying automatic uh, uh, ocean probes that measure these properties in the interior of the ocean. Dr. De La Cruz, President Biden has had a tussle with Donald Trump about misinformation ahead of Milton. How big is that an issue to scientists like you and how distracting is it? Well, we typically avoid uh, all this kind of uh, political um, influence and we focus on what we on what matters, which is actually trying to do the science, trying to do the experiments, because that's our job, right? Try to um, focus on what it's needed to improve the models and to alert the, po the population on the threats that uh, are uh, coming into the coast. So that's, uh, it's difficult to, to do, but we always try to focus on that and just do the science and trying to prove the products. Okay, stay, stay the course, trust the process. Um, sea temperatures said to be getting warmer. What do you foresee then about the future of hurricanes in terms of strength and devastating effects? Well, that's a, a key point. Uh, we know that uh, the oceans are getting warmer, meaning that there is going to be an increase in evaporation and that in turn is going to increase the salinity in the upper ocean. This is critical because that increases the stability of the water column and that prevents cooling. So those elements are going to, or are already facilitating uh, uh, the rapid intensification of these systems. Cooling of the ocean is an, one important process in these hurricanes. However, this stability that I mentioned, it's increasing, meaning that there is gonna be less cooling and these systems are going to actually become uh, extreme faster. It's so good of you to share your insight and expertise. Thank you, Dr. Benjamin Jaimez de la Cruz, Associate Scientist at University of Miami's Rosenstiel School of Marine, Atmospheric and Earth Science. Thanks.